When we talk of 1965 war, uh, there is one of the uh, historic operation which was conducted by Pakistan Navy, known as Operation Dwarka, yeah. code name <coughs> Operation Sovinad. Who conceived this idea? Admiral Air Khan, who was a CNC at that time, hmm. he was a gunnery officer, but he had a great vision, Admiral Air Khan. He is founder of submarine service, he thought of it, hmm. and he had such a vision, and I think I'll be failing in my duty if I did not remember those heroes, hmm. because they're all gone. They're the nation who forgets its heroes, the history will forget that nation. It is our duty. What do you think? We will be able to continue this friendship with China despite all turmoils? What is the idea of a cake which you give me? Hmm. And when I'm hungry, you say you can't eat it. Whenever there's an emergency, we get sanctions on us. Exactly, from the West. But Chinese are very reliable. Their technology is advanced, in some ways it's better. Hmm. And I honestly feel that they are the most reliable partner. In the future, how Pakistan's defense could be made more stronger so that it can become a global defense power. This is the fundamental policy of the West, hmm. not to unite the Muslim world, who has the wealth and also the brains and keep them in turmoil. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello and welcome to program Insight and Be News English. And uh, this uh, today's program is Pakistan's Defense Day special program. Uh, Pakistan's Defense Day is uh, celebrated every year, uh, so uh, there is a lot to celebrate, uh, and it goes back to 1965, when Pakistan's brave, <coughs> brave armed forces, including Pakistan Army, Pakistan Air Force, and Pakistan Navy gave a befitting response to enemy which was much bigger than Pakistan. So with the less resources, uh, with the strong <laughs> will, commitment, Pakistan was able to uh, achieve success and defeat the Indian aggression. So what lessons we have learned from 1965 war, and when we talk of 1965 war, uh, other than Pakistan Army and Pakistan Air Force, uh, Pakistan Navy also earned the name by launching a very historic attack against Indian Navy that is known as <coughs> Operation Dwarka or, or as a code name Operation Swaminath. Then uh, on the Defense Day of Pakistan, we will also be discussing that what are the key defense and security challenges of Pakistan, where Pakistan's defense stands now after 59 years, and what are the future plans to make Pakistan's defense more stronger? What price Pakistan is paying for its strongest strategic ties with China? And what are the other uh, defense and security issues in Pakistan? To discuss this all, we are fortunate to have in our studios one of the most senior uh, military Navy officer, Vice Admiral, retired Ahmed Tasneem Saab who is also considered as hero of 1965 uh, Navy operation, Operation Dwarka. Very warm welcome to Program Insight. Uh, since it is Defense Day special program, share with our viewers uh, that what lessons actually we learned from 1965 war. I think learning the lesson is one thing and following them is another thing. Following them is another, <laughs> another thing. thing. The lesson learned was that in 65 war, the nation was 200% behind you. And, and united. And united. Hmm. I always say that uh, I was 12 year old when Pakistan, Ashala came into being. Hmm. Qadir Azam's was unity, faith, discipline. discipline. And I was a young boy and Qadir Azam used to say, Ke faith without unity is not starter. So he emphasized so much on ittifaq and unity hmm. that I think there is a lesson we should have learned and we should follow. 
there was no division on sectarian business nothing at all absolutely mm. not i'm the witness to it when the pakistan flag went up where i was living mm. it was i think ramadan 27 we said our prayers all together some like this some like this mm. no question was mm. it was Any such division. a unity absolutely so unity mm. is one thing and i think the media also you people from media saw or other you ignore your own role mm. because i was 30 year old mm. and i like music and me and my sailor used to be absolutely fired the nagmas of noor jahan mehdi hasan mm. and they was a motivated news, mesmerized uh, exactly they was a news reader shakil ahmed saab ha uh, legendary news oh, last by god the way he would use the news, news it looked like he's bombarding <laughs> the indian air bases that's media plays a big part this was the historic and role. i also say that do pay homage to those who wrote those lyrics who composed that music who composed those things so i think we should all remember them they were all gone but absolutely media was absolutely as a matter of fact, media was a source of motivation to us hmm. we were at sea hmm. so although we were supposed to be at sea but once a while we'll cheat a little bit put the aerial up and listen to these nagmas uh, very good when we talk of 1965 war uh, there is one of the uh, historic operation which was conducted by pakistan navy known as operation dwarka yeah. code name <clears throat> operation sobinat who conceived this idea because at that time uh the navy was not that stronger but uh, uh this decision was made and then finally and uh, indian base was attacked so I please no, share the stories of i have no doubt in my mind admiral air khan who was a cnc at that time hmm. he was a gunnery officer but he had a great vision admiral air khan he is founder of submarine service he thought of it hmm and he had such a vision and i would say will power hmm. and courage that on 7th 6th host start he had already planned in his mind 7th of september the summer of 7th and 8th uh midnight our ships came they bombarded 50 rounds each 350 big rounds hmm. and the left and they did this from the territorial waters hmm. what we say right inside them from 4 mile territorial water up to 12 mile from the 4 mile and i think i'll be failing in my duty if i did not remember those heroes hmm. because they're all gone and i got their names i'll just read them the name of ships and hmm. the ceo sure the fleet was being commanded by commodore anwar in commodore those anwar days, commodore anwar and those is the commander box and fleet used to be at sea in a ship mm. not now now he is in the maritime headquarters true and the ships which participated were babar khaybar dhaka badar jahangir mm. tibu sultan shah jahan alamgir and their commanding officer were captain lodi captain hanif captain aziz captain malik commander hussain commander amir aslam commander shamsi and kader why i mention is that i do believe that the nation who forgets its heroes the history will forget that nation it is our duty hmm. even just about few months ago uh, last year i was in london and the allied honor hmm. the one surviving soldier from first world war who was over 100 all the big leaders came and greeted him on the day of normandy landing all leaders got together so this is the way they remember their heroes and we should do the same thing and i'm very glad our press and media plays a part on 6 september i we do remember all our heroes god bless them they already Amen. earned their place Amen. in jana and i think their sweat and blood makes us free and we can live lead a free life where do you see now pakistan army pakistan navy and pakistan air force in terms of capability equipment and when you compare it back to 1965 and then 2024 our armed forces stands in terms of capability equipment resources stands where now but then sir things have changed things have changed it used to be man behind the gun hmm Not leadership anymore. 
leadership. It is man behind the computer. Wow. You see, the raw courage has been replaced by raw matter here. It's a computer game. It's a computer game. It's a digital. Game. Your GPS, your mm. communications, your jammers, your mm. radars. It's that. So, first of all, all three services from the infantry for to some extent, yes, mm. they digitize and it's all computer and the mind behind the computer and the brain behind the computer. True. I think um, all three services have done well hmm. and they have actually updated themselves and they have kept in step in IT. Hmm. Uh, JF-17, uh, other uh, development of our tanks, etc. And then very as well as Navy is concerned. No, I can speak with the Navy. Navy, I'm very proud and I want to pay homage to our naval leadership, including the present hmm. leadership, the last 15 to 20 years with their effort. Hmm. You see, every government, you go to convince them hmm. to get funds. To get it's not funds. only here, it's the United States, UK, everywhere same. So they manage to convince the fund, uh, government. They manage to convince the other two services the importance of the sea. True. So first time we are inducting new ships, absolutely state of the art new hmm. ships, new submarines, hmm. new aircraft. So that's a great achievement. In Na our Navy, except the three Daphne submarines, which were inducted in about 1970, all other platforms used to be second, and some air platform mm -hmm. also do. But now, mashallah, alhamdulillah, God bless them. All platforms are relatively new, and it's a great effort because they meet the present electronic warfare criteria. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So they all are equipped, whatever I can divulge, with the homing weapons. That's good enough, uh, absolutely. Yes. From traditional threat from India, to the current security scenario, Pakistan is facing uh, the biggest threat uh, uh, to its security from terrorists. Now, uh, with the new name Fitna al Khawarij, how is this uh, threat, threat by Fitna al Khawarij, which is posing a serious threat to the security of Pakistan? And uh, what do you think? How our three armed forces uh, would be tackling with this menace? Which man is here? This man is of terrorism. Oh, terrorism. Yes. <clears throat> Actually, it's a bit sad. Hmm. My own theory, Mateen Saab is, and I'm nearing 90, so I think the viewers should pay some respect to my theory and what Definitely. I say. Definitely. <laughs> you see, in the olden days, hmm. I'm from East Punjab. If a family of a farmer was doing well, hmm. and there was jealousy, Hmm. So the person who is jealous, he will ask, Ki who is the kingpin and who is the important person or the son? Hmm. So he will find out that all of the four hardworking son, Mr. So-and-so, is the most hardworking. Hmm. So they will undermine him, hmm. him, weaken him. Pakistan was all made up name of Islam. True. And Islam unites us. So my dear Mateen Sahib, it's very simple. Our enemy... Hmm. wants to hollow that pillar which is the strength of our country, hmm. 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 which is Islam. True. I never heard of these so many sects, I don't want to name them because it's a very touchy issue. I never heard. And I'm a product of Madrasa. Hmm. You're a product of Madrasa? Oh, Madrasa, proper, 37 hmm. to 40. Then I'm a product of Islamic school, Jang, hmm. where the committee raising money, a Muslim committee, was mostly Shias. Hmm. And the students are mostly Sunni. Hmm. We said our prayer just... Such a beautiful was, atmosphere. There hmm. was nothing else. Hmm. And I want to quote this again and again. Hmm. What other proof of love and comradeship you can have? The committee, majority Shia raising money for students, majority this. Hmm. Absolutely. Hmm. And we never heard this. Then what went wrong actually? Two sects, and I have many friends, this and that, we never heard, there was never any problem. Hmm. Most of the time, and I say on record, we said our prayers together, hmm. some like this, some there. Some with open hands. They were inter uh, Shia Sunni marriages, absolutely no place like Jam, hmm. where Shah Jimna, they said, Colonel Ahmad, this Shia is very strong, this that, mutual respect. I heard this other sects. I again don't want to name them, in 50s. True. So enemy, I think, did the analysis. Hmm. He said, what is the strongest point? Hmm. Islam. 
So we said, that thing which unites them, let's mm. make it, let's weaken it. So at the name of religion, they have created so many fikas. Mm. And I at 90, who was 12 year old, I have every right to mm. feel pain and sorrow and tears in my eyes. Okay, what are we doing? Mm. A noble religion. Divided, everybody declares each other mm. uh, kafir. Everybody says this, everybody says this. We, I also said my prayers. Mm. We said our prayers during partition, we were migrating. So why is such a fuss? So the, the enemy has done a lot of work mm. and their intelligence services found out that this is the weakened point. And here it is. Mm. So my advice before I go is, for God's sake, hmm. unite in the name of religion. Unite in the name, name, name of, of religion. religion. Hmm. Air Marshal Noor Khan, when I was ADC to Ayu Khan, once in Dhaka we were talking, so I told him, sir, how do you, I was a young lieutenant. Hmm. So he said, being a Muslim, hmm. my pilot will perform 40% more. 40%? More than hmm. anything else, just, just more. of religion. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry to say that compare this doing 40% more and compare this today, hmm. malingering in the name of Islam, avoiding work in the name of hmm. religion. By religion, you should do more work. Absolutely. Sure. I was brought up absolutely in Islamic school. Hmm. It was a proper run by Anjuman. Only one hour break for Zohar prayers. And what we did was we did four languages. Mm -hmm. Farsi, Arabic, English, Urdu, can you imagine? 13, 14 years of old. Then we did algebra, science, Jalab, and Islamic school, Jung. is still there. So, our Rasul Akrim said, if you have to learn, even go to China. Mm -hmm. That means that you can learn the other language. Exactly. So, education was top class. Absolutely. Even in Islamic school, before partition. Hmm. When we talk of uh, international relations or uh, international defense cooperation, Pakistan used to depend, as far as its defense equipment was concerned, it used to depend <coughs> on the West. But with the passage of time, Pakistan got more closer with Beijing. But uh, that po cost Pakistan very high. So what do you think about this? Uh, uh, maintaining a balance between China and the West in terms of our defense uh, needs and in terms of our defense uh, requirements, because without getting any foreign assistance in the in the defense technology, we can't further uh, uh, consolidate <coughs> our defense. So what do you think? We will be able to continue this friendship with China despite all turmoils? Mateen Saab, what is the idea of a cake which you give me? Hmm. And when I'm hungry, you say you can't eat it. Whenever there's an emergency, we get sanctions on us. Exactly, from the West. Uh, I am absolutely the witness. I was second in command in Ghazi, then I commanded hmm. Ghazi. Sab usme shahid ho gaye, Allah unko jaga punchaye. Ameen. Ameen. When the war came in 1965, hmm. we were in Ghazi. Immediately after the war, there was sanction on us. And I took Ghazi round the cave to Turkey for repairs because uh, life is involved. She was overdue. What was the reason of sanctions? Sanction, American policy is this. Hmm. Or the sanction. So every time we and have... Due to sanctions, Pakistan suffered a lot. Right. Every time we have a national emergency, hmm. the sources of supply of weapons from the West, they put hmm. embargo. Embargo block it. So what is the use? Mm. We, that cake example. Number two, so China is reliable, they will not put sanctions. No, Number no two, doubt. it is a wrong propaganda. China has now improved, in some cases even better, in computer, mm. etc. Earlier their metallurgy, etc. were not good. I'm a submarine also, and their submarines are as good. I worked in oil and gas, there is something known as mm. uh, <clears throat> blow pre preventive. Everybody wanted Americans. I went to China, I was working with a company. Hmm. So they showed me that they are manufacturing here hmm. and putting the stamp made in America is always so good. Their technology is improved. Hard Extraordinary. Work, hard, hard work, work, research, hmm. and the and motiva development. Research and, the motivation. and develop motivation. If 1,000 Chinese students go out, hmm. 1,000 come back. Hmm. So is there patriotism, their love for their country, which hmm. bring them back? 
and they accept one third the pay rather than outside. This mm. is the love of the country, and I think Chinese are very. Uh, we have also helped them mm -hmm. difficult time. That's the trouble. Chinese are very reliable. Their technology is advanced in some ways is better, mm. and I honestly feel that they are the most reliable partner, and we should, better truth, rely on them and cooperate with them. Mm. <laughs> So, as uh, you uh, already discussed this, but uh, going beyond uh, this, uh, the war of terrorism, <laughs> going to its roots or going uh, to its base, that is Afghanistan, that has uh, emerged as the biggest threat. The Kabul regime is uh, providing full shelter, sport, and it has, be it has become patron of this Fitna al Khawarij. So, how it could be uh, overcome, this terrorist safe heavens based in <coughs> Afghanistan? But Afghan government is not cooperating. It has become biggest defense and security challenge for Pakistan. Cross-border <laughs> attacks, infiltration. <clears throat> what I'm going to say, it may offend foreign office, but I retired hmm. and during the first Taliban regime, I took three or four trips to Pakistan. Hmm. During the first regime, oh, first in the 90s. Uh, first first <clears throat> Taliban. Hmm. And mostly I was working in the oil and gas sector. Hmm. Mostly it was to help them and cooperation. It was a commercial visit, nothing, no politicals. The respect I saw for Pakistan. In I'm Afghanistan. I'm talking about 99, 2000, that hmm. I was surprised. I bought some dry fruit. Hmm. I want to give him a dollar. He said Kandhari or the Kandhari, it means Pakistan rupee. Pakistani rupee. Um, Don't give me dollar, give me no, Pakistani Pakistan rupee. rupee. Amazing. Everywhere, absolutely. There was a Mullah Isa who was Minister of Mines and Mullah Rahman who was my guest. With a great amount of love for mm. Pakistan. Listen to that. So with great caution, I say that these Taliban nowhere near that. They mm. had great, wherever we went, they respected us. They even mentioned names which I can't, who were close to them. They had great respect. So I think what has gone wrong? Mm -hmm. The country is the same. Mm -hmm. There were no bases, nothing at all, nothing at all. They were very poor. They loved Pakistan. They appreciated what we did for them, and they absolutely. So if we see different uh, <coughs> areas where the conflicts are still in progress in Middle East, then in Africa, Sudan, Afghanistan, we have seen Iraq, we have seen. We are close, uh, close to the closing of the program. Tell us in the future how Pakistan's defense could be made more stronger so that it can become a global defense power, so that we should have absolutely no fear that Pakistan cannot be attacked from any side. Mateen Sahib, hmm. I'm a graduate of U.S. Naval War College. Hmm. I am one of the very few who has met Henry Kissinger. Hmm. Talk to him, State listen sign. to him. He came for a lecture. My yeah. age is such. He was only about 10 years older than me. Yes. Also, I have interacted with a lot of American intellectuals, True. being used near law college here and there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Their fundamental policy is, if I do respect, American, American fundamental friends, policies. Keep the Middle East in turmoil. Hmm. And this, I think, has been fed by brains like Henry Kissinger. In plain words, hmm. don't let this Muslim bloc get together. To benefit American defense industry? No, no, they, they get together, it will be a power Political. by itself. Hmm. If the Muslim get together, Mus I used to hear about this Muslim bloc hmm. when I was Since a student long. in Islamic school hmm. at, the, at the age of 46, 47, before mm. Pakistan came. True. Our master, Muhammad Ali, I remember, mm. used to say, okay, Pakistan will come, and this will be then a Muslim bloc like mm. this area. They've done their homework. We are falling into the trap. Where this Muslim unity has gone ah, now? But they, they, they do the best. They may not allow. I, I just tell you, if UAE, Oman, Iran, Pakistan, mm. Iran, Turkey, uh, Iraq, mm. yeah, they all combine. Look at the wealth in oil and gas, look at the wealth in population, and look at the wealth even Turkey, hmm. or in advanced technology. We will be the most, I think, advanced bloc in the world. So they have done their homework. Hmm. They may disagree with me, but I'm willing to debate with them. 
in that case why do you attack muslim countries on pretext one by of, one of lies hmm. iraq they did hmm. then we were the master section iran standing up hmm. uh, libya syria syria Libya, it's all been done sudan, sudan. exactly so it so this is the fundamental policy of the west hmm. not to unite the muslim world who has the wealth and also the brains and keep them in turmoil thank you so this much is, this is my own <coughs> thinking i am a student of history i say that i am willing to debate anybody else who comes with me one of the most <coughs> thoughtful uh, uh, and insightful uh, ideas and discussion how pakistan can make its defense other than defense then the need of the hour is to create and maintain unity among the muslim nations and the countries around the world indeed thank you so much vice admiral uh, retired amit tasneem sir uh, for speaking to program insight in b news and dear viewers still our next program khuda hafiz and goodbye from studios